In this video, we will be discussing formations. Formations are a container for one or more spacecraft objects. Formations allow you to propagate a constellation of spacecraft using a single step command, provide additional control over the visualization of the spacecraft, and allow you to read in TLE data into each spacecraft of the formation using only a single line of script. The first thing that we will cover is creating a formation through the object browser. Formation objects can be created either through the object browser or through FreeFlyer's script editor. From your mission sequence, go to the object browser, right click to add an object. You can find formations from either going to all alphabetical and going to the F's, or you can get there by going to spacecraft related and clicking formation from there. Once you've done that, double click the formation you've created. You can rename the formation in the top right corner. On the properties page, you have four options for your initialization source. The default is an empty formation where you would define the elements at script level. Your other options are to load from a TLE, a Rhinex broadcast ephemeris, or an SP3 precise ephemeris file. Navigate to the visualization page. In the visualization page, you have the option of either drawing your formation as points with a specified point size, or drawing them as individual spacecraft using a 3D model. Now we will see how to execute this in freeform. First, you will need to define your formation. To begin editing the formation, you must start by setting its count or length. This specifies how many spacecraft the formation will contain. This can be any numeric value, including functions which return numeric values, such as the get number nor its state function. For this example, we will set the count to 12. Next, set your spacecraft states. You can set the states of the formation either individually or through a for loop setting parameters for all spacecraft at one time. When setting the formation using a for loop, Make sure to use the syntax myformation.count-1 when stepping because FreeFlyer is zero indexed. Finally, using a while loop, step your formation and update your view window over a selected period of time. Now we'll take a look at a script overview before visualizing the formation we've created. First, we define our formation and give it a name. Next, we set the count, or length, specifying how many spacecraft we want inside our formation. Then, using a for loop, we set the orbital parameters for all the spacecraft in the formation at the same time. Note how we're using the variable i to assign different values to the right ascension of the ascending node for each spacecraft in the formation. Using this technique, the orbital planes will be spaced out by 30 degrees. Also inside the for loop, we set the propagator and propagator step size, as well as the tail length to better visualize in the view window. Orbits look more recognizable in inertial viewpoints. To see this, we are going to create a view window object through the object browser. On the content page, add your formation to the view window by checking the box next to the name of your formation. FreeFlyer's default reference frame is earth body fixed. To view the formation in an inertial viewpoint, Click the Viewpoints page, and under Reference Frame, select Inertial. Looking back at the script, the last thing we must do before running the mission plan is, inside a while loop, step our formation, and update the view window. When you finish that, you're ready to run the mission. Here we can see the formation we configured with a 30 degree inclination and the orbital plane separated by 30 degrees in right ascension of the ascending node. This is what the same formation looks like when we visualize it as a group of points. Now we will look at a few of the more complex uses of the formations. First, we have the MMS demo. Here you can see the MMS formation collecting data from the Earth's magnetic field. The MMS, or Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission, is a four spacecraft formation that flies in a tetrahedron shape.
Another use of formations is to populate debris fields. Here you can see the debris from the Cosmos, Iridium, and Fingen satellites. In this visualization, you can see the Tedris formation showing when each spacecraft is in contact with a ground station. Here you can see a GPS constellation generating pseudo-range tracking data for a spacecraft in low Earth orbit. Thanks for watching. For more information on formations, please refer to the help file linked in the description or feel free to contact tech support at aisolutions.com.